What's up, brothers? What's going on? How's it going, Carla? Three of my favorite black leading men in Hollywood. I got a question for you, Carla. Okay, you know all three of us. Who's your favorite? I'm not saying that. <laughs> you, ain't, you ain't gonna throw me under the bus like that, Michael Ely. No, you're not. <laughs> okay, we already know. We already know. Don't even try it. Don't even try. We're not going there. We're not going there. Anywho, we, we <laughs> on with the interview. <laughs> right. <laughs> so I enjoyed this. I enjoyed this a lot because the last time I saw something that looked like this was kind of like LA Law, but that was a bunch of white people. Yeah. This is us. And it's created for us by us with a lot of stuff going on. So having said that, Jax's character is this person that kind of um, she pushes people away that know her best because she doesn't want to be seen. Do you think that Damon, Lewis and Brayden subscribe to that same ideology? And that is what causes all of them to have certain types of conflicts with Jax? Wow, that's a good question. Um, mm -hmm. I think that's absolutely true. I think it's absolutely true. That's it's, it's ironic that you say that because my character actually says that to Jax uh, during one of the episodes on the show. I say the reason you and I never really clicked at the beginning is because I could see that you saw right through me, and I, I wasn't remember that. that. I remember you know? that episode, and I was, and then shenanigans ensued right after that. <laughs> uh, a little bit, a little bit, yeah. And so, I, so you you nailed it. You know, it's kind of like that's really. Uh, what's at the core of a lot of these dynamics between all of these characters and it makes everybody squirm. And, and that's great entertainment and great TV. I agree hundred percent. I think the great thing uh, about the way it's written out, it all comes together is that the, the, there's that push pull, it's like magnets and timing is the distance, right? And there's these moments where you feel like you're close, but something separates you. And I think the, the big thing with, with Lewis and Jax is just even example, there's conversations about communication and not talking and that's, an indication like, hey, you're for, you're moving further away than I than I had anticipated, or whatever the case may be. So, um, watching two people that care about each other, that are dealing and juggling their lives and navigating all these things, but still at the core want to be, want to find a way that they could potentially walk together is is a journey that's worth that's worth fighting for, and also hopefully worth watching. All right, Mike, what you got? Since you saved the best for last, I think, <laughs> um, what I would say is no. I don't think, I, I don't think there's an ounce of Damon that wants to push Jax away. I think Damon is extremely accommodating to, um, to Jax, mostly because of all that lost time mm. between them. And mm. so I think he's the only one who, who is trying to make up for like the lost time. And so he, he is willing to, to, to accommodate her and, and, and be there for her. Like he sees himself in a certain way with her that she doesn't quite see at first. And it takes time, you know, it takes time. And eventually he's able to penetrate her. Um, Is that what we're doing? Is that what we're doing on the press day? <laughs> that's, what we're, that's, that's what we're doing in the middle of the interview. We're just gonna, that's, that's how we're, that's what we're gonna do, Mike. Her, right. um, it's a great choice, her, Mike. Her defensive, her defensiveness and her walls and uh, oh, good! Yeah. All right, anyway. all right. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, back to back to. Oh, that one was personal. That one was personal. That one Ooh, was personal. you made my nose turn red. Let me just ask you this before my time is up. Oh, Michael, you are funny. So, <laughs> do you think that um, that these men have are these quiet fire explosions that due to their individual trauma? right? Each one of y'all have individual trauma that that reflects back on Jack somehow. Well, I would say, yeah, I think the answer is yes. I think the problem, the challenge in a lot of situations is we, we take our trauma, put it on somebody else and then ask them to fix it. Um, where a lot of the journey for Jackson Lewis specifically is like our own trauma, but trying to make sure that even in my own complicated way that I'm dealing with my own stuff and not throwing it on you and, and hopefully not vice versa. Yeah, yeah. I think I think Damon wants Jax to to save him in a lot of ways, um, because in 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 the beginning of their relationship, she was the only one that could really see him, and he never ever forgot that about her. So yeah, he definitely projects that on. And I think with Braden, he crosses a line that forces Jax to confront some of her trauma from the past as well. So, yeah, all of y'all, all of y'all are deep. Personal. 
Sean, <laughs> Mike, McKinley. Ooh, y'all are some deep brothers in this project, but I was down for all of it. Thank you so, so much for giving me a slice of your time today. I appreciate you. And I'll see y'all next time. Thank right, you, Carly. Carly. Thank you, Carly.